This video is sponsored by G Portal. I host my servers with them and you can too. Save 5% with the link in the description. Subscribe for more Valheim. Hey everybody, Valheim released some development blog news today. Time moves fast and we've already reached the end of 2021. It's been an incredible year and we're excited to keep on working towards uh, making Valheim the best game it can be. So they talked about the Swamp update, but they also say, speaking of content, it's getting more and more complete. We aim to be able to release it early next year, but until then we thought we'd give you yet another sneak peek. And here it is, the mountain caves uh, that we're gonna be getting here. Pretty cool looking image. Got some kind of new rune stones. I'm going to take this over to Photoshop and show you a little bit closer. And then we got another image here, really dark. It looks like inside. Uh, pretty cool, pretty creepy. I'm going to show you this in Photoshop right now. Let's go take a look. All this power is made possible by my Zydax gaming PC. Get a great deal on your next gaming PC with my link in the description. OK, so here we are in Photoshop and here's the first image that they showed us. Get a little bit closer look on these rune stones here and you can see there's some wolf carvings on them and over here some different carvings, different symbols. And then this cave kind of continues on here. So I don't know if this is where we're going to zone in or this is actually inside the cave. But uh, let me show you what this image looks like brightened up. Boom, that is what we're gonna be seeing, just brightened up, you got the icicles, bottom and on the top, and the cave definitely goes deeper in. So this could be the zone point, so this could just be the facade you see at the zone point, or this could be inside the cave and then you venture further down this hallway, and it looks like there might be some kind of rune stone or pedestal or some kind of uh, carved stone structure at the end of that cave. Pretty nice, pretty exciting. And then let's take a look at the other image. Okay, so here it is, very dark. Uh, some pretty cool features though, but uh, let's brighten this up to take a really good look at it. Boom, check that out. There's obviously a fen ring in here. Uh, we got some, some wolf pelts or something hanging from the uh, ceiling there. Of course, we've got some, uh, some bones on the ground. We've got that wolf head statue that we saw earlier. In the background there, it looks like we have more of whatever this is hanging from the roof there. It's got it hanging there and some kind of thatch or something above the uh, what might be a doorway. Looks like there's a light source over there, probably another one of these, which is kind of a new looking uh, decorative um, fire stand. I wonder if we're going to be able to craft this little bowl of fire that sits on the ground. That would be fun. Be another cool light source to decorate with. And then we got these things here. Uh, this first one, I mean, it, it looks like this one, uh, but it's got some kind of wolf pelt or something on the top there. Some Something that feels like fabric-y. And this little pedestal thing, whatever it is, uh, I don't know. What is that thing on there? Some kind of item or something? Maybe something you can click on and take off of there? I don't know. And uh, there's something behind this uh, fendering here. So these could be stairs that just go up to another room, or maybe it goes up to just the little altar that he came from or something. Not sure. Uh, you can definitely see that we are getting a little bit of snow and cold effect in here though with all the particles but yeah that's a really exciting image um, even the roof here there's a another little structure jutting out from the ceiling uh, of the cave could just be the shape of the cave not really sure we won't know till we get in there take a look but this is uh really exciting i hope these are you know one of the things i really like about this is that it feels a little more open than some of the uh burial chambers and sunken crypts. Maybe the image is deceiving, but that's what it feels like. And uh, yeah, those can feel a little claustrophobic, but this feels a little more open. So I, I hope I hope that we have 
taller uh, ceilings throughout the mountain caves. That would that would be fun. Uh, make it feel more grand. OK, so they continue and they say as the development of the caves is gradually progressing, that means more and more energy can be focused on the Mislin's update. There's a lot to be done in order to bring you a whole biome as we need to establish everything from resources and new things to craft to enemies and a big bad boss. But we're really liking what we have so far. In case you missed it last week, it was finally time for the Game Awards. The competition was strong and we unfortunately didn't win anything, but it was an honor just to be nominated in the first place. I'd like to thank every single one of you who gave us your vote. And since it's now December, some of you may have a little bit of downtime given the holidays of the first Yuletide and the New Year's. If you're planning on playing Valheim a lot during that period, you might even uh, have some extra incentive to do so as there will be a little bit of a competition coming up. Keep an eye out on our socials next week to find out more. And even if you're not inclined towards competitions, we hope you'll have a grand time in Valheim anyway with the seasonal Yule Tree and Yule Clap building items. We were able to finish a little holiday gift for you all in the form of an armor stand the other day so that you can finally display the gear you're no longer using. We hope you like it. And I'm sure many of you have seen my video or other videos on the armor stands. They're very exciting. One of my favorite things to do is to put a, a, a beam right behind them with an item stand just behind and stick one of the uh, trophies that fits uh, underneath the helmet or inside the uh, hooded um, uh, part of the cape there, the cowl. Give them the business or give someone else the business, or give yourself the business. Link in the description. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters. Some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers. Links can be found in the description below. Skull!